the Voice of America. There are many people who speak one, two, three or more languages. Sandra Lemaire on VOA's web desk speaks four languages fluently. Et ma belle, est-ce que je t'ai dit ce qui se passe avec mon père? My first language is French because I was born in Haiti, so I was, grew up speaking French. And then at the age of five, we moved to New York City. In addition to French, Le Maire's family also speaks Creole, English, and Spanish, ah bon. and she learned those languages as well. <laughs> Producer Zulima Palacio's native language is Spanish. She started speaking English in her early 20s. Her reporter's notebook reflects both languages. When I go, for example, to a press conference, you will have to be bilingual to be able to read my notes. My brain instinctively takes notes in both languages. If it is shorter in English, I take it in English. If it is shorter in Spanish, I take it in Spanish. A new study shows that as they get older, Palacio and Le Maire will have advantages over their colleagues who speak only one language. People who speak more than one language are better able to stave off the normal cognitive decline that comes with aging. And if they develop Alzheimer's or another form of dementia, their brains will continue to function better than people who speak only one language. Those conclusions come from a recent study of 450 Alzheimer's patients. Psychologist Ellen Bialystok was the lead researcher. We've been able to show that people who spend most of their lives actively using two languages are able to postpone symptoms of Alzheimer's disease by four or five years beyond what we see in comparable monolingual patients. Bialystok says the physical changes that Alzheimer's causes in the brain could be the same for both a monolingual patient and a bilingual patient. But the bilingual patient does not show the outward symptoms of the disease until much later on. Her research is now focusing on the structural differences in bilingual brains. It's possible that the, that the bilingual mind is just better connected and better able to cope when there's a disease like Alzheimer's because it's, it has a more robust set of mental activities, mental components. Another study shows even more advantage for someone who speaks multiple languages, such as VOA correspondent Ravi Khanna, who learned five languages as a child. In India, you know, your neighbor is a Bangla, your next door neighbor may be Punjabi, and your other neighbor may be somebody else, and the kids play together, and they talk in their languages, and you know, so you're exposed right away um, when you come out of the house to other languages. In this study from Luxembourg, people who spoke three or more languages were even less likely to develop memory problems than bilinguals. And if you only speak one language now, Professor Bialystok says learning a new language can help stave off the effects of dementia, even if you don't speak it like a native. Carol Pearson, VOA News.